Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink Japanese sake in both Japanese and English. What I meant is like introducing both Japanese and English. And on top of that, I share some information about the Japan in English. And then let's see what I'm gonna say. So today I'm drinking this sake for my YouTube channel. My first time to introduce this sake. This is from Saga Prefectures. The name of sake is Eiko Giku. That's the name of it. And then the sub no, it's not really a subtitle, but like it's like it's a Tasugare orange. It's a raw known filtered sake. The name of the sake brewery is Koe Giku Shuzo. And then as you can see the bottle is really orange, pinkish color, which really indicates that this is a spring sake. So let's see how this sake is gonna taste like. And as always I drink Sake with my special Japanese sake glass from Kagami Crystal. It's a very beautiful sake. So let's see. Cheers. The first of it smell. Ah. It's not strong. It's not very distinctive. It's really soft smell. But I can smell like a little bit sour, like the orangish or like the grapefruit kind of like the fruit smell, but like not really that fruity smell. Because like the orange, especially grapefruit, is a more like the sour. And the flavor is It's really refreshing, but mellow, and then the sour fruity flavor. Oh, it's really good. It's really like the orange or like the group fruit, the group fruit, that kind of flavor. So like, if you like, if you're looking for like the sake, which is not too Japanese sake, but not too fruity, but you know, you are looking for some kind of like more like the, you know, fresh and you know, bit sour flavor, then I recommend you to try this Koe Giku Tasugare Orange uh, Murokana Magenshu. That means uh, no filtered raw sake. Uh, it's from Saga Prefectures. And it, like, if there's any sake that I you you know recommend, uh, please leave a comments in my video by you know leaving comments here so that you know I'm gonna look for it. I got you know so far three comments, and all three I look for those sake, and then you know I you know I got it. And I actually drank it and then I made a videos. So if you uh, like, you know, if you can give me some comments and recommend me some sake, I would be really, really appreciate so that I, I would get to really neutral sake. And then like, I don't have many subscribers here, but I'm really trying to, you know, establish my channel. So if you're kind enough and if you feel like, okay, it's just you know drinking sake and talking whatever but like why don't i just support him you know like betting for his you know for his, his future then um please do so so that you know i can actually try a little bit harder and hopefully you know we you know you and we you know, and i can try to you know turn this channel a little bit more bigger one and a more informative one and then like you know like i'm just just drinking it's spring it's April and then one of the main topics that Japanese people really discuss in April is Gogatsu Bio. Like you know direct translation is in English is like May disease. But I think the more like the suitable translation should be like 
spring fever or like a spring fatigue, which means that a lot of people, once it becomes May, they feel so tired. They don't want to work. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to study. They just want to be lazy. They feel like they don't have enough energy. They have no motivations. It's called as Gogatsubi or bit because it happens in May for so many people in Japan. And then from the like the Japanese people's uh, perspective, that would actually happen to a lot of people based on two components. One is that in Japan, from the end of April and the beginning of May, it's called a super long holiday thing. It's called Golden Week. Basically, there's just so many national holidays, and if you you know get paid leaves and everything, you can make a really really long weekend, long holidays. And this year, especially 2022, that's you know the calendar really fits well in. And if you make you if you get a paid leaves in those days, I think the longest days that people can get days off for the Golden Week is like more than like eleven days. Which is really crazy, and a lot of people wish that you know they could go to actually you know other you know countries and enjoy and everything. Some people can do because some countries accept Japanese people that oh come to you know my country you go you guys don't have to be quarantined or anything like that. But I think the Japanese people are more cautious right now, so like they 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 prefer to do trouble. In Japan, but still, it's really good for those people. And another part is like that. All the fiscal year for like schools, companies, really begins from April first. You know, they get into like new school, like the like senior or graduating. Go to college, university, or like the that's gonna be the first year for those people who just graduated from university to start off the bit you know work and everything. So like the first one month, they are so nervous, full of hope, and then they, they just got so nervous and everything. And then within three weeks. They got long holidays, like ten days and everything. And then in May, think you got so nervous, you tried so hard, and then suddenly you got ten days off. Of course, you kind of revisit yourself, you know, asking you know yourself that is this what I really want to do? Or like this university or this school? I'm not really passionate about it. Should I just waste my time for the next three years and everything? People somehow use that ten days off to reevaluate what is going on with their lives, and then in May, they are like, "Forget about it. This company is not for me. Or forget about it. This school is not for me. I need to look for myself. I need to look for." The true purpose of my life, and then they just quit the company or jobs or school, or they just you know lost lose motivations and everything, and then just became so lazy, and they just don't know what's going on, and they just you know suffer so like sudden fatigue, no motivation, that kind of you know situations, and then as a whole we kind of like classify as. Gogatsubio, May disease, in English like spring fever, or spring fatigue. So, if you already in Japan, whether you you as a student or you work in Japan, please be ready for Gogatsubio, May disease, spring fatigue, spring fever in next month, and then just whatever happens to you. Don't make any decisions based on what would you you know what you're gonna actually go through with it, because you know it's temporarily. In May, in July, 
and you might feel something different. And then, if somehow, like, you know, in this August, you still feel like, you know, the school or job or company are not really, you know, it's not for you, then maybe that's the time that you must kind of rethink and consider and look for yourself or like what you really want to do and everything and then change the school or job and company and everything and even the country like you feel like you, you know japan is not the country for you but do not make a decisions in may because you might be under this phenomenon called kokatsubio and if you feel like that oh i feel so like lazy not motivated i don't want to do anything or oh, am i bad don't think that way because in japan especially most of people feel that way in may because it's a social thing it's the japan thing and you just enjoy it don't work don't push yourself don't study hard uh, don't work hard and if you can get more paid leaves and everything take it do nothing just you know go to movie theater watch something or do nothing and, you know at home like you know like just keep drinking sake feel nothing and enjoy it being lazy is good for you especially with sake but anyway so that's just my just want to actually you know talk about you know what might be happening to a lot of people in japan as a kokatsubyo and it's nothing serious it's very common so I think that's all. So I hope to see you in my video. So for now, ciao.